Nicola Sturgeon's desperate attempt to pander to the EU backfired during a roundtable interview with European journalists. Ms. Sturgeon was questioned after declaring the SNP will hold a second referendum if it wins next year's Holyrood elections. Amid the chaos caused by coronavirus, Ms. Sturgeon was also asked over the timing of an independence vote considering the economic hardship which is expected. In an audacious attempt to build bridges with Europe, Ms. Sturgeon declared Scotland would be coming home if the public declared their desire to rejoin the bloc. During the interview, German publication Die Welt warned Ms. Sturgeon, enthusiasm for new entrants to enter the bloc is not high at the moment. And Scotland's performance in combating everything from coronavirus deaths to drug addiction was also panned. Despite the EU expansion warning, Ms. Sturgeon said, Scotland's accession is not an enlargement. We have been members for most of my life. Scotland is coming home. This is not a new beginning. We can act as a bridge between the UK and the EU, bringing people together. Although the Scottish people voted to remain in the UK in 2014, Ms. Sturgeon declared there would be a quick accession to the bloc following a second vote. In a blow to her independence hopes, Ms. Sturgeon was also quizzed on how the SNP has handled the country's health system. Although the SNP has full autonomy over the health system, Ms. Sturgeon was quizzed in particular on the number of coronavirus deaths and drug addiction in the country. One journalist said, be it the number of COVID deaths, be it the number of drug addicts, Scotland often comes off badly above average. You have autonomy in the health sector. Nationalism ISNT the solution, is it? In response, the First Minister said, I don't accept that approach. We are not perfect, we have a lot of work to do in many areas. Child poverty is too high here, for example, because London has the say over the social system. So independence is part of the answer. My party is called the Scottish National Party. But the term nationalism has all sorts of connotations that have nothing toto with my party and our independence movement. Just this week, the SNP's public health minister, Joe Fitzpatrick, has come under scrutiny following the release of shocking details in relation to Scotland's drug problem. According to figures from the National Records of Scotland, there has been a 6% increase in drug-related deaths from 2018. Scotland recorded 1,264 drug-related deaths which is higher than all EU countries and three times higher than the rest of the UK as a whole.